Guys, before you watch this video, just know I don't claim to be the best PvPer. I am just trying to showcase what I can with my knowledge. Doesn't mean I'm really good at what I do, like playing the class or being good at PvP. <laughs> I try my best, but I'm definitely not the best. And um, you're definitely gonna see that in this footage, but hopefully you enjoy the video and I hope it helps. Cheers. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Yuma with another Moonlight Blade mobile video and we have finally received a new class. After three and a half months of having the 60 full classes, we now have Strategist. Have you ever wanted to become an anime main protagonist? This is the class for you. And wow, that idol just came in clutch just now. I was not expecting the idol to kick it. But this class is a lot of people's dream class this is the one that a lot of people are going to be switching to and maining especially because of the new you know new content everyone's bored everyone wants to try something new so everyone and their mom are going to be trying this class out but the best thing about this class is that it has a range set and a melee set you can run or you can rock either of these for um guild wars honestly they're both very good for guild wars uh i i would definitely rock the range one myself for guild wars because you do get a damage buff for the whole team uh, teammate damage increased by five percent as well as yourself by 20 percent. great very small but it still means a lot honestly it's a nice range kiting class um so honestly definitely gonna be a lot of fun i can't wait to try the second set in guild wars but imagine the first set in guild wars you're gonna have fucking domain expansion bro you ever want domain expansion you now have it <laughs> if you ever watched jujitsu kaisen also you have shadow clones what's not to love you got like your little bunkai form as well especially in second set i think i think it's in both sets. i haven't tried so this is gonna be my first impression with you guys playing this class but yeah, you have like the flying swords in the second set. That's amazing, honestly. Um, so we're going to be looking into it. But for anyone that's new here, we're going to just let you know that um, this class is intelligence-based uh, as well as echo. Here we are. School main trait is intelligence and uh, echo. So don't worry. I was beggar before this. If you do a, a class change, it'll give you the option to convert all your epitaphs. Um, which we can sh show over here. So all my epitaphs were um, strength focused, but they all converted over to intelligence based. So don't worry too much about that. Getting sidetracked here, smelting. But anyways, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna try out this class. Another idol, this is the second idol an animation. This is amazing, loving it. We're gonna go straight into arena now cue the montage of me just losing over and over to mirror matches whales and even people i used to be on beggar i just suck at yeah okay straight up messed up oh man i am just misplaying out of my mind People I beat before, I'm losing to now. Okay, I'm just so bad at this class. So as you can see, that didn't go as planned. I just kept losing a bunch. Um, definitely recommend just going to menu, martial arts, and to battle tutorial. It'll give, teach you the basic combos. And clearly I didn't know how to combo that well. Um, so winging it didn't go so well for me. It's important to get combat experience, but you still need to know how to combo. Um, so we're going to go into dummy training real quick. Uh, you can actually get some bot training as well, but I just want to go to dummy training just so we can show you some uninterrupted um, showcasing right now. What we want to do right when we get into dummy training is kind of going through all the skills and understanding what they do. Your first scroll return to void is just a flurry of slashes. There's a bit of a one second wind up time before you actually 
slash out. So just be careful of that because during that one second wind up time gives them a window to kind of interrupt you. So be careful of that. Uh, your second skill is a range skill. Let's see how far the range is. You can slash it from here and then you can press shadow. Now the third skill is a close gap, your dash. Now you can just do that and it will suppress for two seconds. Or you can also do shadow right here and it will knock it up and set you up for the strike down, uh, the G button. Now the interesting thing about flickering lights is that they have this really long wind up skill, like the first skill, but you can actually animation cancel. So right now we just showed the normal animation, but if you want to, you can just press shadow and you can escape and it'll do a different kind of combo. Now for the fifth skill, pretty self-explanatory. You can use it when you're stunned as well. It's like a good escape. It stuns them for seven seconds and knocks them up. Um, great, after the knock up, you get access to your strike down. Um, just note, however, that it won't work on people with super armor, for example, here. So if they got super armor or a special block, the fifth skill will not keep them in place. And so you just kind of waste your, your skill there. So the last thing to talk about regarding the first skill set is the flush skill. Now the flush skill is when you have three grids of Yang, so it's like your full bar. Uh, you'll see it near your auto attack. There'll be like uh, three little tiny bars. Once it fills up, you can flush. Flush is basically a modified buffed version of your basic skills. So we, let's do, for example, flush and your first skill. It will include a shadow to do extra damage and then a little strike down from the shadow. Uh, flush with the dash attack into the fourth skill does some extra damage there as well and then there's also flush with the second skill the range skill instead of it shooting just one it'll shoot multiple it'll shoot like six sword keys in a row um, so flush is just an enhanced version of your skills honestly the one that looks the most worth it is the flush first skill but landing that is gonna take practice <laughs> uh, definitely some practice that I'm gonna need but something to take note of flush is very really 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 good and you just need to know how to utilize it the best way possible so that's pretty much it pretty self-explanatory from there um, you just kind of have to know how to string your combos and then make it count don't waste any of your cooldowns because you don't have two part skills like um, beggar I mean, I think Beggar is the only one that has a lot of skills to work with. But here, you do have some variations with Shadow, but they are tied with your skills. So, just got to be careful. We're going to try and see if we can practice what I've preached. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Should really block during that fifth skill, but we didn't get the chance. That's okay. Not really doing so hot compared to what I've shown. Bit of a clusterfuck. I didn't really combo anything there. Okay, we got the knock up on the dash. Very nice. We got the flush. Okay, we almost got our fist kill here. Time to use the fist kill. He's stuck now. Strike down. Oh, I could have blocked there. I should have blocked. You need to know when to block in this. Your, your combos don't string perfectly, so. Oh, we're, we just kind of lost, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. Or, oh, we somehow made it come back. But as you can see there, 
I'm not really good at this class. I didn't string my combos. My combos broke halfway. He was able to get through. I should have blocked when I, when he went on his fifth skill, but I was too busy trying to chain combos instead of breaking my combo midway. Uh, so not the best performance, but you can see that I kind of practiced some of the things I preached. For example, the uh, the third skill into shadow, you can knock up and then you can slam down. Uh, I'm just having troubles <laughs> chaining the combos together um, and just knowing when to distance myself. Because honestly, you could just press four or the second skill and then you shadow and just kind of poke them down. You can play more patiently. I was just never the patient type of player, but uh, hopefully that helped with the first set. And we're going to move on to the second set. Second set is a little bit more straightforward. So the second skill set is a range skill set. They're very different from the melee build. The first two skills are the same, but the last three are different. Now, the only thing is the first skill is no longer in front of you. It travels forward. So it starts in front of you, but it goes outwards, which is really, really cool. Uh, for the uh, second skill is the same still. Uh, you don't have your shadows anymore, but there's going to be a reason why there's no shadows. Uh, your third skill, this is your bread and butter. This will give you enhanced swords, and it will travel to your target with each auto. Just note that it doesn't trigger with skills, only auto attacks. However, it does a lot of damage. So you can do some crazy fast burst damage real quick. Um, your fourth skill is a big spear attack this is the range with your sword and then it just kind of knocks them up uh over there uh where it, where it lands the fifth skill is a attack buff and it gives you a free shadow chasing skill which will buff up your uh second or fourth skill whatever it is you're choosing you have to do it really fast though because as you can see it just disappeared just like that as to how shadow chasing buffs uh, second and fourth skill, you can see here, shadow assault summons shadows in front and launches four sword key forward dealing high damage. Uh, for the second skill, shadow chaser summons a shadow behind you, rushes at the enemy and executes a continuous flashing attack uh, causing a held effect. So shadow chasing is very help. Uh, very helpful in terms of buffing your, your skills. You also do have flush here, which will also buff your echo bonus, uh, which is very helpful as well. Now I got some footage of me just showcasing the second skill set on some guardian bots. Uh, not the best example to give, but there's no other way to give you 1v1 showcasing of it, of the skills actually in effect. Um, but whatever you see here, just practice it in PvE as well, and it works the same. You'll be able to dish out lots of damage. As you can see here, I was actually quite surprised at how fast I shredded the Guardian with the second skill set. There's less, like, brain work involved. You just spam a bunch of skills outwards, and then <laughs> they just get shredded. So I missed my fifth skill there, or my fourth skill. Don't really care about the block because it's bots. Just escape. Uh, use my fifth skill to buff my skills. And honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's just destroying him. But uh, I just think both skill sets are very fun and worth trying out and see what you like. Well, that pretty much sums up my first impressions of the new strategist class. Uh, I believe it has a very high skill ceiling. It feels very rewarding, but you'll be punished for any mistakes you make. So definitely be wary and be patient and learn the class. Don't take everything I say uh, for face value, you know, uh, learn everything with a grain of salt. And I hope my video helps. And I hope you enjoy the class if you do plan on playing it. Take it easy, guys. Until the next one. And thank you so much for watching. Cheers.